Hi there. We're going to be looking at a series of shortcuts that we can use to navigate the keyboard instead of navigating through the system with the mouse. So this is moving towards the direction that Windows is going in, where we don't have mice anymore, and Windows 8 is coming, and you better get used to it, because uh, it behaves just like a tablet. There's no mouse to be seen. Of course, you can use a mouse, but the recommendation is that you get used to the hands on the keyboard. So let's have a look at this. First key I want to get you used to with a shortcut is the Alt key. It's a very handy key. Not many people use it. Um, not even, not many people even know about it. I think it's one of those keys that's very useful. So let's have a little experiment. The Alt key on itself. If I just go into Notepad and punch Alt, you will see that the uh, file menu gets a little F under it. E for edit, O for format, V for view, H for help. So uh, what we do is use those little underlined shortcuts to punch up the menus. For example, if I punch the O key, we get the format menu. Escape will cancel that. Go to the F for file, you get the idea. Now, another uh, principle here is they're not always going to be the same throughout the windows. If I switch you into Word, you'll see, just remember what it looks like, Alt and F. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven options. If I go to Alt and F in here, oh, there's a few more. Okay, come back to that, but uh, one more I want you to be aware of is the Alt and Space, which opens up the properties of the window. If I, if I use the left click on the properties of the window area, it will get me to uh, uh, the ability for closing, opening, resizing, etc. Same principle here, but if I use the Alt and Space, you can see that I get the same thing. Alt and Space, useful little shortcut. So if I want to maximize the screen, X. If I want to restore the screen, R. I could even, when you press Alt Space, you can see the Close option. Another Alt key is the Alt and F4. That might be more familiar to you. Some people use that as the only use for it, Alt, Alt key. Uh, okay, let's try and expand on that. If I close the uh, Word document with the C, I use Alt and Tab, <laughs> another Alt key, to go to the command prompt. What do you think we're going to find if you try and use Alt and F? Is there a file menu here? No. So not all these are the same, is what I'm trying to say. If I press Alt and F, I just get an F at the screen. So I'm going to press Alt and Space, and you can see that C is still there for close, X for maximize, etc. I could even go for P for properties. Okay, we're just going to close this out. Alt space and C. I'm going to maximize Notepad. Alt space X. And this is one of those little tips and tricks that leave you feeling like you're looking good. When someone looks over your shoulder and you've punched Alt space X to maximize the screen, and they don't know how to do that, it's one of those things where you sit in there and go, "Crikey, I want to know how to do that." Okay, just a little food for thought. Closing this. Alt and F4 and with the paint. Keep practicing. Soon enough it will be comfortable and you'll use it as second nature. Come back soon for more tips and tricks from New Horizons.